Okay, 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 good people, good people. Yes, welcome to the weekend analysis. This is another weekend and I'm going to share the analysis for the coming week. So it is the projection of the market uh, for the coming week, just the five days of the coming week. So this will be from the 2nd of October up to the 6th of October. So basically, I'm going to provide an overall projection of the market. And what I do here is just a top-down analysis. I break down uh, the market from the highest time frame to the lowest time frame. So I do it from the monthly to the four-hour time frame. So make sure that you watch um, my analysis in the four-hour time frame because it is where I provide an exact direction of the market for the coming week. So we had analysis now uh, for this week now, uh, last weekend. So. Now it has done well, even though we, we expected certain movements before the market is going to sell like crazy. But now those sorts of movement didn't happen exactly. But all in all, the market has moved in our direction. And for those who were able to, capture, to, to, to enter the market, now they caught the move. That's very important. So remember, we have a Telegram channel where we discuss. Now we can further discuss uh, this analysis so make sure that you join the telegram channel through the link which is on a video description and if you're already in a telegram channel make sure that you join a discussion group because in a discussion group it is where you are able to put down the comments so we discussed the projection for this week and uh, now people they have just uh, profited from what we had or from the discussion that we had so straightforward let me start with the monthly time frame and now basically in the monthly time frame if you have been watching my analysis now for the previous like four month or three month actually i have been talking about uh the possible opens of i mean opening of the market down so even if you you watch now uh, the previous analysis now the last weekend analysis i also talked about the price opening down below this level now we have this level down here. So now it has been three months consecutively. Now price has been moving above this level. Even last week I was talking about this candle being above the level. And the projection was price is going to open below the level. So now successively, now price has opened below the level this week. And actually, now this was the last week of the month. So the market is down in the last week of the month. So this means that the monthly candle has closed with this stronger bearish momentum. So this is powerful based on what I was anticipating now several months back. So basically the idea was now um, when I turn on the counts now, the idea was I was looking forward for price to complete wave E down. So I've been talking about the wave E down. So this movement to the downside, it means it aligns with my projections that uh, we need price to complete wave E down. So that is very, very important. So based on how the candle, now monthly candle has closed, you see now it has closed below the level where it failed to close three months back. So that is very important. Uh, therefore, what we expect is uh, next month candle, it will have some retest to this broken level and then we will continue down. But basically, in the lower time frames, it is where I provide an exact direction or exact possible direction. So here in the monthly time frame, it is just an over low overall direction. And basically, remember, we have to, to do the uh, what you call uh, the correlation, the time frame correlation. So now if the monthly time frame is down, so we need to trade when we see the lower time frames, they are moving down as well. So that is then now quickly in weekly time frame. So in weekly time frame, we still see the level. It is working here. So this is the monthly time frame level. And I'll, I'll move with this level throughout the analysis. So basically we had a channel that I've been talking several times and now the idea here was now last week I was talking about this beautiful rejection at the level. So now this month, I mean, this week has played very well in relation to the rejection. So it has closed the strongly bearish. So that's powerful. 
and basically in weekly time frame all the time i was talking about now price moving to this lower channel together with this level here so we see now market is projecting to the level so actually we still expect the price to touch the level the level of nine i mean 1806 or 05 so around those levels so mostly we expect the price to touch those levels so what's going to happen when the price is at this level so we'll discuss now in the coming weeks or months that is powerful so before i move to daily time frame i can quickly um yes maybe the other thing i can say is just look forward for the next week candle to have some pullbacks to those levels before we continue to the downside that is one but we can have an alternative where price may continue straight from here touching the level down here so before i go to daily time frame let us see the highlight of the news so we have news on monday that is the second of october so we have news on monday the mix of high impact and medium impact news and also we have news on the rest of the week and actually uh now on friday we have we are going to have nfp the most powerful news so make sure that you take you stay in tune with those news hours and don't try during news hours if you are not a fundamentalist also you can protect your profits if you're already on trades uh during news release because what i'm doing here is a technical analysis actually that may not have anything to do with the fundamentals that is very powerful so quickly in daily time frame now in daily time frame in daily time frame in daily time frame now we see everything goes the same way so yeah price is pushing down there straight down but basically the overall structure now the overall projection here so i can provide the overall projection and maybe why i'm looking down always now price started here actually we have a sort of five wave move so one two three four five down so this five wave move was just a so price corrected in wave b so currently we're moving down in wave c so basically um i expected to see other five wave move down here in order to say that the abc has been completed so currently we had the first move here then the price pushed up so it is moving down here again so now the current move here i expect it to be the third wave that's why it is very strong you see very strong this is very strong compared to the previous moves so actually i expect this to be the third wave so now in four hour time frame we'll see clearly the structure of what i expect here but basically we'll still uh, be looking down now even if we'll be having some pullbacks but they are not going to go i mean they are not going to move too far up but the main direction will remain down until we are moving around those levels down here so it is when now we can see now what what is expected after so basically that is powerful so let us see the exact direction in the four hour time frame what are we going to trade next week how are we going to trade next week so now price has moved with the five wave in wave one so corrected then one two three four five down in the third wave that i have talked in daily time frame so now currently we are looking in a now in the completion of the fifth wave here in the fifth wave of the third wave now so we are looking forward for a full completion of the fifth wave of the third wave so now that is powerful so actually after the third wave is completed so we'll be looking forward for completion of the fifth wave down to those levels down here so now the first projection will be now the first projection will be now price it may have some movements down in completion of the fifth then it will be correcting up in any way but i mostly expect to see a sort of sideways movement before price completes this move down so i expect to see a sort of sideway movement before price completes the fifth wave down so this is the mostly likely projection so we may have a sort of sideways movements now uh, it may be uh, more than a week it may be more than a week we can be trading a range so if we see that uh, um, i mean if we see such form of movement now a sideway movement we have to expect completion of the move to the downside just will be the fifth wave so we'll be looking up 
after completion of the fifth wave. Now that is one. But alternatively, price may go straight from here. Alternatively, price may go straight from here, completing this move down up to those levels down here. So if that happens, then we may be looking for sort of buys. Uh, now it will be ranging now, a sort of buys that will be ranging. So we will be full in a buy once the price is above this level. I hope you see the white line and we have a green box. So once price is trading above here, it's when we'll be looking full up. And now this is not going to happen immediately. So it may take several months. Um, yes, maybe several weeks or more than a month now. So basically, let's watch for these two movements. This sideways movement, then completion of the fifth wave, or it may be a sort of straightforward movement down before we start looking for a sort of buy. So that's all. Uh, that's the analysis. So if you have any comment or suggestion, addition, write in the comment section. If you have any question, you can also write in the comment section. And um, if you feel that this analysis is powerful, is helpful, just hit a thumb up button. And if it's just your first time visiting this channel, you can just subscribe and turn on notifications because we have a lot of information that are shared here and they are just creative information. So thank you for your time and have a powerful weekend.